Rainbow Ink! <laughs> Welcome. The person you seek isn't here. It is Halloween. It's time to take over. <laughs> Welcome back to Rainbow Ink. I thought it'd be partly by to start the video in that way, since it is the Halloween season. And I'm wearing a cloak, or a cape, whatever you want to say. This is the one I need. And I'm <laughs> Camp Hopwood, so you think we know what you're doing today? We're gonna sort some Camp Half Blood. We're gonna sort some Halloween characters into Camp Half-Blood cabins. Those Halloween ca characters are coming from Tim Burton's Halloween movie, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I've done this before where I've taken Disney characters and put them into Camp Half-Blood houses and etc. So, now we're doing Nightmare Before Christmas. And before any of you say anything, if you think Nightmare Before Christmas is a movie for Christmas. It can be either or, thank you very much. So, and I have a list of characters, so... Okay, I've done this before with some other characters, and here are my little things, and I have my little hearts. Zeus, Hera, Poseidon, Mimer, Ares, Athena, Apollo, and then other card, which is 13 for your 20, so I'm not going to do all the characters, just some of them. I'm going to try and not put um, Oogie Boogie, who is the main antagonist in the movie in Hades. So, anytime I do this, I'm gonna try and not put him in Hades. So, there's that. Okay, first character up, we're actually gonna do our hero, which is Jack Skeleton. Jack Skeleton is our main hero in the film. He is very prideful and needful. He is a great um, leader, he's very wise, but he's also can be controversial, which is prideful for a Simpson. So I'm gonna put him in Athena, Cabin Six. Most of these characters, I think, for some unknown reason, are gonna go into Athena. Also, by the way, I'm not gonna try and put any of these like characters since they're Halloweenish in Hecate's Cabin or in Hades Cabin. I'm gonna try. There is one I do want to put in Hades Cabin, but I'll try. So, next up will be Sally. So, I'm going to try and not put her in Athena, if that helps. But where to put her? She was created. She was love interest. She was beautiful. She's smart. But, yeah, smart. I don't know why, but for some reason, I want to put her, um, Aphrodite for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just because she was listed as beautiful and she was a creation. I know that shouldn't help because she was a creation. Most demigods are technically creations of gods, so... Okay, next up is Oogie Boogie, the main antagonist of this film. I'm gonna try and not put him in anything weird. Not on Hera or... I don't wanna put in Hades because... Yeah. And Hecate magic. I don't want to do that. But he does get very vengeful at the end of the movie. And swore revenge. And also like kind of going off from the from the video game because he gets his revenge in the video game. So I'm gonna put him in Nemesis. Well, because of the revenge factor. Next off is Dr. Frankenstein. AKA the creator 
uh, Sally, her father, her creator. So he was very smart, but also very evil. I don't know why. I want to do. He's going to Athena. He's very smart. He's created Sally, but never suspect the tea. Again, pridefulness can go into effect because that's one of the main. Next up would be the mayor of Halloween Town. Yeah, I put in the mayor. <laughs> be funny. Now I'm regretting that <laughs> decision on wearing the button. Where to put him? 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 He's a politician. He's Two Face. He was listed as a politician, Two Face. When I was looking the characters, to remember their names because I hadn't seen this film in a little bit. So I think I am gonna put him in Hecate. I know I said I'm not gonna try and put them in Hecate, but isn't Hecate kind of Two Face with the potion that Jason gives her? Something? Right there? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Hey, it's the next day when I'm editing this. Um, while I was watching the footage over, I didn't say the names of the next three characters, which were Locke, Shock, and Beryl, the three, like, henchmen of, like, Oogie Boogie and stuff. So, those are the next three. I had to real quick put this in here. Sorry about that. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Next up, I put these are actually three characters I put together. It's like Huey, Dewey, and Lily from the last one. Um, and I put them in all at the same time. But one of them can be um, they can be taken out and put in their own little cabin. But I kind of wanted to put them in all three because of reasons. And you'll know who I'm putting them in because of their mischief and curiosity and they can be loyal and they can not be. So Hermes. They're going in Hermes, all three of them. They're like it's like Huey Dewey and Lily. It's the same way how I presented that, which was they like to play jokes on people. They liked somewhat thievery, I think, in the film it's somewhat they stole Santa Claus. Oh yeah, by the way, Santa Claus is not on here. I did not put Santa Claus in here because of reasons. And then finally, last but not least, we have Zero! The dog. Yeah, I went there. I went for Zero. To be stupid. To be very stupid, I went with Zero. And Zero is a very loyal dog. He, he's a dog in general. He's loyal. But I don't know for why. For the, he, he's a dog. He's literally a dog. He's literally a dog, for goodness sakes. A ghost dog. Ghost dog. The most adorable ghost dog in history. He's the most adorable. And I kind of want to put him in Hades for some unknown reason. I want to put him in Hades for some reason. And I don't know why. I'm going to put Zero in, in Hades. I'm going to put Zero in Hades. Because I kind of want to see um, Nico have a dog. Wait a minute, no, that, that's wrong. I want to see Nico have a dog brother. Because he technically, um, no, that's technically Mrs. Harley's Percy's. But sometimes Nico takes care of him. Care of her, I mean. I think it would be pretty partly funny if Hazel and Nico had, um, Zero have a dog ghost, um, as their brother or sister. Is Zero a boy or a girl? I'm curious now. Is Zero a boy or a girl? Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> I'm gonna look that up later. Just to let you know. This seems Zero is a boy or a girl, and that's gonna be so funny. Real quick, I'm back. I did look it up. Zero is is a guy. He's a male ghost dog. So, <laughs> there's that. Zero is a guy. So, back to the video. That's all I have on the characters. We put seven or eight. We technically put eight characters. But th three were together. Three were together, so six characters in the cabins. Is there any character that I didn't do in this movie that you wanted to see? And please don't say Santa Claus in the comments below, please. Don't say Santa Claus <laughs> in the comments below. Please do make sure to like and subscribe and all that beautiful jazz. Make sure, you're make sure to turn on the post notifications when you know when I upload. 
because I might upload at random times, or I just might upload on Fridays. You don't know. I, I don't know half the time sometimes. They're on a whim for me. Last video is right up right here, and also a playlist of the last um, characters of Disney going into Camp Half-Blood houses that will be there, and also subscriber is right over there. And it's the Halloween season, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!